Hey there, Elon kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Peppa Pig Best Friends. Once upon a time, Peppa's best friend Susie Sheep came to play. I have something to show you, said Susie. Susie held up a photograph of a baby sheep. Look! It's me, said Susie. You're not a baby, Susie, said Peppa, shaking her head. This is an old photo, Susie explained. It was taken when I was a baby. Peppa snorted. She didn't remember Susie being a baby. That was just silly. Susie pointed at Peppa. In the olden days, you were a baby too, she said. I don't remember being a baby said peppa but you were insisted susie ask your mummy peppa and susie raced inside mummy pig was working on the computer mummy cried peppa susie is making up stories no i'm not susie said peppa told mummy pig about susie's silly idea i don't remember being a baby peppa insisted but you were a baby, Peppa, said Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig pulled up a picture of a baby pig on the computer. Who do you think this is, Peppa? She asked. Peppa thought that the baby looked like her cousin, Baby Alexander. Is it Baby Alexander? She asked. No, replied Mummy Pig. That's you as a baby, Peppa. Peppa was surprised. She had been a baby. <laughs> Peppa and Susie giggled. Baby Peppa looked very cute. George and Daddy Pig came in to see what all the fuss was about. Look, Daddy, said Peppa. That's me as a baby. I remember it, said Daddy Pig. That photo was taken on our first day in this house. What do you mean? asked Peppa. Daddy Pig told Peppa, Susie and George that they had moved into their house when Peppa was very little. We brought all our things on the top of our car, he said. Mummy Pig put up some pictures, said Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig put up the shelf, said Mummy Pig. And Grandpa Pig made us a lovely flower garden. Peppa and Susie went outside. There was no flower garden at this house. Why don't we have a flower garden now? Peppa asked. We used to, but Daddy Pig looked after it, Mummy Pig sighed. Hmm, said Daddy Pig, embarrassed. We had the wrong kind of soil for flowers. Was Susie my friend in the olden days? asked Peppa. Daddy Pig nodded. Of course, he said. You and Susie have always been best friends. Peppa wondered what games she played with Susie when they were little. Did we jump up and down in muddy puddles? she asked. No, Mummy Pig laughed. You were babies. You couldn't even walk yet. What did we do when we were babies? asked Susie. You cried, you burped, and you laughed, said Mummy Pig. Susie and Peppa giggled. It must have been so silly being babies. <laughs> baby Peppa, baby Susie. When you grew into toddlers, continued Mummy Pig, and you played together all the time. But where was George? Peppa asked. He was a baby in my tummy, said Mummy Pig. Peppa thought for a moment. Daddy Pig's tummy was even bigger than Mummy's. Is there a baby in there? She asked. No, Peppa chuckled Daddy Pig. This tummy is pure muscle. Soon, 
George was born, Mummy Pig said, and Granny and Grandpa Pig brought him a very special present. Can you guess what it was, Peppa? Peppa knew just what present it must have been. Mr. Dinosaur, she cried. Goo goo. Gah. Daddy Pig said that little Peppa and Susie liked to do everything together. They liked to jump, <laughs> dance, la la la, and run around all over the place. <sighs> Then one day, said Mummy Pig, you saw something amazing. A muddy puddle. You love jumping up and down in muddy puddles together, said Mummy Pig. Peppa, George, and Susie all ran outside. I still love muddy puddles, cried Peppa. Me too, cried Susie. Peppa? George and Susie looked for the biggest muddy puddle they could find and jumped right in. Daddy Pig brought his camera. Let's take a photo of you, Susie. And George, now Peppa, he said. Yes, exclaimed Peppa, because Susie and I were best friends in the olden days and we're still best friends now. Little or big, Peppa and Susie will always be best friends, and they will always love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. The end. Thanks for listening, Read Along Kids. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more great read-along fun. Until next time, bye-bye.